Good morning, everybody. Today is August, or no, today is September 1st, 2022. But I heard this word, August 31st, 2022. And um, it is called Circumcise Your Lips. Uh, very first thing we're going to do, we're going to invite in our stars, our, <laughs> our main attractions, <laughs> Our God, Lord God, we invite you, Jesus, we invite you, Holy Spirit, we invite you. <laughs> yes, we invite you, Lord, we invite you here in the midst of us. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you're doing. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Papa. Just have your way. Have your way, have your way, have your way, in Jesus' name. Let your truth come forth only. Let it be all about you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, so what started this all out was that the Lord had me go to Proverbs 10.10. 10. I'm going to read it. <clears throat> he who winks with the eye, and of course, I'm sorry, I'm reading out of the Amplified Classic, uh, in case anybody wants to know. I had many, many translations down here <laughs> um, <clears throat> of this exact same verse, and I went through the Strong's Concordance on this verse. The Lord really had me dig into this verse. I was wondering what... Okay, Lord, <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? <laughs> so it says, <clears throat> sorry, he who winks with the eye craftily and with malice causes sorrow. The foolish of lips will fall headlong, but he who boldly reproves makes peace. <clears throat> so you waving <clears throat> a person who is, so this is me researching this. So as I dug in further with the Lord, this is what I have. <clears throat> he does have a word here at the end, so hang tight. So a person who is full of malice. Malice means spitefulness, which means to desire to hurt, annoy, or offend someone. <clears throat> Sorrow, a feeling of deep distress caused by loss, disappointment, or other misfortunes suffered by oneself or others. And reprove means to reprimand or rebuke. <clears throat> so, sorry, my mouth is dry. I thought I, you know, did a good job getting some water, getting some water beforehand. Uh, it's proven not to be that great of a job, so please forgive me. <laughs> um, so, what putting this all that we just learned together into this word? What it's saying is a person with evil intent. Or a person wanting to cause hurt. You know, sometimes we think of evil as just the like the deepest form of evil that we could think of. But if we look at what the Lord, what he calls evil, it's not always the things that we would call. Like, you know, when you purposely say something to someone to offend them or to, um, to annoy them or hurt them. The Lord says that's evil. We don't think of it like that. But we need to get, we have to wrap our head around what the Lord is saying is evil and not what we say is evil, not what the world says is evil, but what God is saying is evil. Otherwise, we're going to continuously do the things that we don't want to do and be disobedient or at opposition in some way against the Lord. Okay, so let's go back. A person with evil intent or wanting to cause harm or wanting to cause offense and trying to annoy someone causes deep pain in that person, which is soul wounds, soul wounds. But he who boldly rebukes or corrects doesn't say it. Say, okay, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Yeah, see, look, there you go. Doesn't say or do it arrogantly. So a person who boldly corrects but doesn't say it or do it arrogantly. Hey, hey. Custard, come here. Look, look at doggy. See? Get down. There you go. Uh, but doesn't say it or do it arrogantly to be mean. You know, you, you were, re you were re <laughs> sorry, it's cute. You're, uh, you know, re if you rebuke someone, but you're doing it in, in the Lord, but you're not doing it to be arrogant. You're not doing it to be mean, but to be bold and courageous to speak out against wrongdoing. Like your family members want to gossip about another family member instead of you just being like, well, yeah, they do do that, you know, or just like, hmm, no, but boldly correct. I'm sorry. We're, I understand they might've hurt you, 
but let's not talk about them. Let's pray about, let's pray for them because, you know, God hates gossip. Boldly corrects. We have to just come at it with, with the sword of the spirit, with the, with the word of the Lord. <clears throat> what are you trying to do? With the word of the Lord. And where was I, Holy Spirit? Yes. Who boldly rebukes cause. So the person, but he who boldly rebukes causes God's peace to come and bears the. Why, son? <laughs> and bears the tongue of Christ when we align with his spirit and speak out his words of the Father. Sorry if the camera's all over the place. <laughs> For I love. Oh, this is where the Lord came out and said, for I, well, the Lord, the Lord came out and said, the person who boldly rebukes and causes peace to come bears the tongue of Christ when we are aligned with his, you know, and then it's like when we're aligned with his spirit. So I heard him say bears the tongue of Christ. And so I put in um, like parentheses bears or um, his spirit. I'm sorry. I just messed that all up. Let me just go back. So the, I heard the Lord say the person who boldly rebukes causes God's peace. When I was saying that, writing it down, I heard the Lord say they bear the tongue of Christ. And then I wrote when we align with his spirit and speak out his words and the words of the father. This little person. And then the Lord spoke and said, for I love. Let me try to stand up. Yeah, look. No. change the scenery and then the father said for I love and correct those whom I love saith the Lord your God it is time and then I I wrote down here it is time for real Christians to stop being timid and afraid of being controversial Jesus is controversial Papa is controversial he always speaks a contrary word to what society says. Do not be afraid. And then I heard the Lord speak directly. And he said, circumcise your lips, saith God. Circumcise your heart and be one with me as we are one, saith God. I am all that I say I am. I am justice. I am truth. And I am holy. And I do command you to be holy as I am holy. Stop. This was, and here's the, it's kind of like the rebuke here. Stop. How long, not you, Custard, my poor dog, not you. <laughs> How long will you live within your filth? So the Lord, strong rebuke here. Stop. How long will you live within your filth? Don't pull my mole off. Oh my gosh. Little person. <laughs> Under attack. How long will you live in your filth? Come out of the pigsty and into my fresh presence. Be cleansed by my son's blood. Will you please that was bought and poured out for you, saith God Almighty. Be cleansed and be circumcised in your speech. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, saith God. And some of you... That should be a clear indication that there is rotten things within you. So the Lord is talking about our speech. We say rotten things. We say things that are not in love. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. Let's try something new. I did this with your brother one years ago. Hey, hey. Look, it's all right. Look. That's a, that should be an indication, he's saying, that there's something rotten inside of us. When we know we can't, you know, you find yourself, you know, gossiping, you find yourself saying things that you shouldn't say, you know, and maybe you don't catch yourself right away. Maybe it's later than you say, oh, my goodness, I said this. Or, you you know, or somebody, you, maybe you're feeling guilty, you're feeling the Holy Spirit speaking to you. That's an indication, he's saying, that there's something rotten inside you. So in your in your spirit, man. So like in your spirit, in your soul, you got things that are of that are rotting. You know, the Bible talks about our hearts becoming stony, cold. You know, <clears throat> um, so that's something that can that's that's 
that's right on his word. Um, that yeah, the things in our heart, our heart's supposed to be tender. You know, our heart's supposed to be tender and, and we're supposed to be pliable in his hands. <laughs> so he says, let me begin to clear those things out for I desire more than anything for you to realize just who you are in me saith the lord strong and mighty a clearing has begun and i won't stop and pull over for you i desire you to join me and i need you to grow up and put away the toys of yesteryear and hop aboard my glory train for it's left the station with or without you you're all right you're all right for it has left the station with or without you i desire above all that you are on board but that is up to you choose this day whom you serve saith the lord thy god so god is saying he's not going to i'm sorry he's saying he's not going to pull over for us he's not going to um, you know, do a U-turn and be like, well, I'm not ready to go yet. You know, I still got this offense and I don't know about forgiving this person, Lord. I, You don't know what they did to me, Lord. <laughs> it's funny how we say stuff like that to Jesus and he's like in the midst of being crucified. Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Because they're being used of the enemy. Yes, they partnered with the enemy. But they are being used. They don't realize that he is the savior. And just like we get offended because we choose to not realize that, you know what? This person's being used of the devil. They're being used of the devil. <laughs> we get mad at that person. Hallelujah. Lord, I just surrender to you. That's the end of the word. Lord, I just surrender to you. I surrender to your will. Let your will be done, Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. On my uh, social media page yesterday, it's so funny because it ties in so well. Yesterday um, on my phone, I was not looking for this, but on my phone, on my phone, I found an audio from my father, one of his, um, uh, one of his services that I recorded because we I told you once before you guys that um, we had we were doing like I had a home church and this was four or five years ago because um, my father passed away three years ago um, I'm three and a half years ago now um, and so I found this and I was like oh my goodness it's my dad and so I was listening to it and it was like oh it's daddy's voice but that message that word the word that the Lord was speaking through him oh my goodness was so relevant it's so relevant for today and I maybe might rec record it if I can get um if I can get a little time away we'll see like I said school is back in session <laughs> and uh we're about to go out for a walk so <clears throat> yeah so it was so timely but it was also about putting away in that word he said <laughs> what are you doing put away the those old those old blankets he said those old personalities that we feel like are ours but they're not yours <clears throat> they're not you it's the devil working through you it doesn't make you an evil person you know, you're not an evil person because you're being you, your mouth or you are being used by the devil. Look at it like this. Peter was spoke from the devil when he said, you know, far be it from you, Jesus, to be, you know, crucified and do all that. No, far be it from you. And Jesus turned around and said, get behind me, Satan. Because, see, he recognized those are the words of the enemy. <clears throat> and the more we yield to those words, the more we yield to that and speak that out. That that's when strongholds come, you know, and then we just start thinking that's just who I am. That's just my personality. No, it's not. It's not who you are. It's not your personality. And, you know, it's just it's not it's not you. But if you don't put those things off, as the Bible says, you put off anger, you put off 
um, you know, you put those things off. You know, we're over here praying, Lord, take it from me. And he can help you. He certainly can reveal it and, re and rebuke the enemy for your sake. But we have to actively put these things off. Choose the words of the Father. Choose Jesus' word. No, I'm not going to be that way. Yeah. I'm not going to be that way. He wants my phone and he wants all my attention. So, <clears throat> you know, which is understandable. That's my baby. Um, So... It's okay. It's okay. So anyway, I'm going to end this unless the Lord has anything. Jesus, Holy Spirit, Papa, I just surrender to you. I thank you, Lord. Jesus, you are worthy. You can't get down out here. He wants to get down and go on the grass. <laughs> Come on. Lord, we just surrender to you lord hallelujah magnify you lord glory 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 we glorify you lord have your way in us have your way jesus Lord, I just thank you. I honor you. I honor you. Let it all be about you. Hallelujah. I just feel his peace. I don't believe there's anything else. Hallelujah. See what he's saying? Hmm. Yes. The Lord is just saying, be at rest. Be at peace. Be at peace. Okay? Be at peace. That's his word. Be at rest and be at peace. So, be bold, be obedient, be blessed, in Jesus' name, amen, shalom.